guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ben Ninen, and for today's video, we're going to be doing a sunscreen review from the brand Tokobo. I'm assuming that's how you say it. I picked up two of their sunscreens to review. The two sunscreens that I have are the Tokobo Cotton Soft Sunstick, which is an SPF 50 plus with a PA of 4 plus, and the Tokobo Bio Watery Sun Cream, also SPF 50 plus, PA of 4 plus. Okay, so let's start out with the Bio Watery Sun Cream from Tokobo. Like I said earlier, SPF 50 plus, PA of 4 plus. You get 50 milliliters, which is 1.69 fluid ounces, and it retails for $20. So some of the UV filters in here, it uses Uvenol T150, Mexoral SX, Uvenol A plus, Polysilicone 15. This is a Korean sunscreen, which is why it has some of those fun filters in here, but it also has some really great other ingredients in here. For example, it contains niacinamide, which I personally love for my acne prone skin, adenosine, skull cap root, vitamin E, a more cork tree bark extract, biohyaluronic acid, which all I feel like work together to help hydrate the skin and soothe the skin as well. This is a fluid. I'm going to show you guys the texture. To me, the fluid, well, it's not even a fluid, it's more of a cream actually. To me, it's just a very lightweight, almost gel like cream. And as you guys see, like what it disappeared. It literally blends in so quickly and seeps into the skin very fast as well. And it's very smooth. This is alcohol free for those of you who have some irritations to alcohol, but it does have. A kind of strong fragrance in my opinion it does have that like florally rose smell so if you don't like that smell definitely skip this one I personally don't think the fragrance dissipates which is also kind of a bummer because I don't mind if there's a fragrance but if it like goes away after a little bit then that's fine this one the fragrance stays in my opinion and I can smell it all day I went ahead on the first day and applied it on bare skin so I just washed my face dried it and then put my sunscreen on top of it it just really disappeared very quickly it's very lightweight it's not greasy at all it does give you kind of a glow like a very ever so slight glow but it's not greasy or shiny which is great um i did put it on my eyes and for me i did have some minor eye irritation it was just like irritation it wasn't burning so that can be tolerated I found that whenever I have sunscreens that irritate my eyes a little bit I just put a little bit of powder there and I don't have that issue later on in the day and that kind of solved that problem for me after wearing it for two hours and coming back I was very pleasantly surprised with this because honestly I think because it's so moisturizing and so hydrating I expected my skin to look greasy two hours later especially because it was kind of hot on this day but after wearing it for two hours and coming back you guys can only see very minor shine in my t-zone and that's normal for me but just overall i wasn't looking greasy or anything which is awesome i really feel like it held up very nicely so i went ahead blotted reapplied reapplication was quick and easy this is one of those that you can just slap on and go and y'all know that's my favorite type of sunscreen i don't want to be manipulating and working with it i just want to put it on and forget about it um and i got that experience with this so if you're looking for a very lightweight sunscreen that's moisturizing and easy to apply this could be a really great option for you as well the next day I went ahead and wore it with a moisturizer just to make sure that it doesn't have any issues when you put other products on. I wore it with a lightweight moisturizer, put the moisturizer on, let that dry, and then put the sunscreen on top. And again, it applied very easily as well. So it does work with other products on your skin. Obviously you're gonna get a little bit more of a glow. So if you're oily, I wouldn't recommend applying it this way. But if you have more dry skin and you feel like the sunscreen isn't enough and you need a little bit more oomph, Underneath you can wear a moisturizer and it does hold up. It doesn't pill up or anything I wore it for two hours and this day I was actually out and about so I'm showing you the clip of it in my car and Let's just ignore the fact that my hair looks absolutely insane. Why is it sticking up like that? Um, ignoring my hair you can see on my skin. It just looks like a very slight moisturized look you're not getting any glow or anything like that and it held up pretty well after two hours. Last day I wore this one, I wore it with makeup and this wore beautifully with makeup. I just feel like you're getting enough moisture, enough hydration, but it's drying down 
very quickly so that you can put your makeup on and it's not like messing with your makeup or anything so it does wear really nicely with makeup in my opinion my makeup held up pretty well initially and also two hours later again i was expecting to look shiny did not look shiny um and for having oily skin i think this looks really great after two hours so definitely works well on its own works well with a moisturizer and works well with makeup um so who i would recommend this product for i feel like Honestly, if you have balanced, I'm trying to say the word balanced now instead of normal because I feel like that's like what is normal, but balanced slash normal skin, I feel like you will like this. If you have dry skin, personally, I think it's moisturizing enough where you can wear it with dry skin and not feel like you need something extra, but you can add other things underneath if you need more moisture. It does work with oily skin, well with my oily skin. I feel like if you're really oily you might not like it because it's not mattifying and it does leave like a slight, ever so slight glow to it. So if you don't like that, probably not for you. The fragrance to me was kind of annoying. I'm not a fan of fragrance in skincare and I'm especially not a fan of having it smell like roses. I don't need my face to smell like roses. If you're sensitive to fragrance, definitely skip this one, but I didn't have any like actual irritation on my face, like I wasn't itchy or anything, so that's good. It made my eyes a little bit irritated, but it wasn't like stinging it, so. So overall, I had a pretty decent experience with this. Personally, I don't think I would repurchase this just because of the fragrance, but if I were to ignore that, I feel like this would be a really great option for people with oily skin to wear in the winter months. Lastly, obviously it works for all skin complexions, like there's no white cast to it whatsoever. I didn't have one, I don't expect anybody to have one. On to the next one. The next one that I picked up is the Tokobo Cotton Soft Sun Stick. This is an SPF 50 plus PA of 4 plus. This is 19 grams, 0.67 ounces, and it retails for $18. This one is kind of a combo sunscreen, so it has some of those newer chemical filters, and then it also contains titanium dioxide dioxide which is a mineral filter this one has that cotton extract in it which honestly makes it feel like you are putting nothing on let me guys show you what it looks like here's a stick mine is dirty because the last time i wore it was with makeup and that's my gripe with sunscreen sticks to me they're just kind of dis they're kind of disgusting to me but you can obviously clean it um wipe it after you use it if you have acne prone skin but yeah anyways this is what it looks like i earlier I put it on this hand I'm gonna put it on this hand and this is just one swipe and it like there's nothing there two swipes three swipes nothing there is nothing there it literally feels like like cotton I don't know it's so like smooth and silky but also after you leave it for a while it feels like there's not much there which is great on my hand there isn't really a cast and it says it absorbs sebum and oil they, they have anti-sebum p which is supposed to help absorb some of your sebum and your oil and it's supposed to go on like a primer okay so everything that is on the packaging sounds good and then I went and put it on my face. And I believe I only wore this on two days. I wore it with makeup and then I wore it with a moisturizer. So pretty much I wore it with a moisturizer and applied it in layers. After my last sunstick video, there were some of you that were like, you need to put more layers on. But honestly, I go in with a very heavy hand. I'm very heavy with products. I use a lot of force so to me two layers is enough i know the recommended that i've seen is like three to four sometimes they say two to three it kind of varies i personally put two pretty heavy hard pushes <laughs> layers um on my face i feel like it started to make my face look a little bit more matte at first i was a little bit shiny from my moisturizer and as you can just see the more that i put on the more i become a little bit more matte a little bit more smooth looking to me personally i feel like there is a little bit of a cast which it does have some of those mineral filters but after spreading it out to me the cast isn't like super bad it's just it's kind of there um and it is noticeable in my opinion also initially it looked like there was a little bit of pilling around my jawline but after rubbing that in and letting it sit for a little bit and then going outside in natural lighting you don't see that pilling as much um so 
I wouldn't really say this necessarily pills up. I think it's just, just needs to be rubbed in a little bit. Even in natural lighting, you can still kind of see that there is a very slight white hue to it. Uh, I don't know. You guys tell me if you see it. I feel like I'm seeing it, but maybe, maybe I'm just being a little bit too critical. Let me know down in the comments what you are seeing. Okay, so I wore it for two hours, came back, and as you guys will see, my T-zones look a little bit shiny. Everywhere else looks fine, like if you look around my jawline. I wasn't expecting this. I thought that the cream would be a little bit more oily after two hours than the stick, but it was the opposite for me. I feel like my skin looked fine with the cream, but then when I put the stick on after two hours, it started to feel kind of greasy to me. So I went ahead, blotted, and reapplied. And again, it's going back to that kind of satin matte finish with a slight cast. So I feel like overall it wore fine on its own, but my issues with it is that I found that my skin started to feel a little bit itchy and irritated, which is weird because I didn't have that experience with the cream. Um, it just started to like, like I just needed to scratch my face. It felt itchy. I feel like I started to break out. Um, as you guys will see, I have some like little bumps and that's how I know. If I have like big pimples, that's normal. That's my hormonal acne. But the moment I start getting those little tiny white bumps around my cheeks, that's when I know that a sunscreen is just not working out for me. And I honestly feel like it was clogging my pores. Like at the end of the day when I washed my face off, um, even with double cleansing, it just felt like there was gunk in my pores and I didn't like that at all so I wouldn't recommend this one for people with acne prone skin personally if you have tried it and you have acne prone skin and you didn't have an issue let us know down in the comments but for my skin I was having some issues with the irritation and the sensitivity this one does not sting my eyes and I didn't feel like it moved around so that's nice that my eyes weren't really as irritated it does have a fragrance I forgot to mention that earlier so the cream has more of a floral fragrance. This one, I cannot put my finger on. It's like a slight floral fragrance, but it doesn't smell like roses. I don't know what kind of flower I'm smelling. Mixed with like baby powder. Um, and that smell stays, it doesn't dissipate again. The next day, I really didn't want to try this again because I had irritations with it. So I probably shouldn't have put it on my face again, but I just, I stuck through it for you guys to give you this review. Um, the next day I wore it with makeup and as you guys will see, my makeup actually looks very good if you ask me. It does work as a nice primer, so if you are not having the irritations that I had, definitely go ahead and try it, especially with makeup. I just think it was a really great base. So it does wear nicely with makeup, but it's just a bummer that I had some of those issues with it. So I will not continue to use it and I will not be repurchasing. That's pretty much it for this review. If I had to pick one of the two, obviously I would go with the cream. I feel like if you ignore the fragrance and if you don't have an issue with fragrance, you should be fine and if you powder your eyes you should be fine it's an overall good sunscreen the stick the white cast the fragrance the irritation the acne were just all a no and i wouldn't feel comfortable recommending it if you guys have tried either of these products and you love them let us know down in the comments section below if you dislike them like this one like me also let us know down in the comments it's okay if you don't agree with this review we all have different needs and preferences with skincare, so just because I like something doesn't mean that you won't like it. So let's chat about it down in the comments. I always love to hear you guys' thoughts. If you have any other sunscreen recommendations, also leave those down in the comments section below, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. Bye!